All right, so this is like take 5,000. I mean, trying to get this in the exact spot so we can see everything that we got going on. So hopefully it works this time. Anyway, I want to point out what we have here. If you can see right here, we have a piece of tape that's running across, right? It's marked out, you can't see it, but it's marked out at 10, 15, and 20 centimeters. Just like what it's asking you to do on your explore page on your science activity for today, all right? So if you see another thing we have here, we have we have our radiometer. It's shaking a little bit just because I'm pressing on the table. You can see the lights, you can see the lights. Uh, but then we also have 300 watt light bulbs. So if you can see, I'm gonna lean this back just a second. You have three light bulbs right here. That's going to be providing our lights. I have a phone sitting right here that I'm gonna start recording right now that's showing us our temperature. Now, this is always going to be looking at the temperature. It's never going to move away from that. So, looking on our questions before we get started. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the 20 centimeter, and then you're gonna work on the 15 and the 10. So looking here, I'm trying to answer three questions. I'm trying to answer, did the vein move? And how did it move? Did it move fast? Did it move slow? Did it lose a little bit, move a little bit? We're asking our beginning temperature, which if we look right at our camera, right here, we're following this bottom red, which it looks like we're just under 80 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and say 79. And the last thing we're looking for is temperature after three minutes. So I have used up all of my devices here. So you're gonna hear me say, is that a timer for three minutes? I'm gonna put it on my watch to just kind of speed up this process. So again, our be beginning temperature was 79 degrees Fahrenheit. You see that I've marked that there, eventually. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn my lights on and set a timer for three minutes. Set a timer for three minutes. So our three minute timer has started. And you can go ahead and answer the question right now, did our vein move? And what we're talking about with our vein is just what I called flags in here yesterday. We're now spinning. So our vein is moving. You can see down here, our thermometer. We're looking at the mercury right here in our thermometer. It has not moved yet, but let's check back in three minutes. So it's been three minutes. Let's go ahead and look at where our temperature is. Our temperature, you can see it's moved from just below 80 to just above 80. So we're gonna round down just like we did before. And we're gonna say our temperature after three minutes was 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, how did the vein move? Well, it moved and it moved pretty consistently. Uh, I would say mm, we'll move for now. We'll compare our speeds later. All right, so now I have to reset everything. I have to turn my lights off. I have to get my thermometer back down to room temperature, which is 79 degrees. My radiometer vein has to stop spinning and we'll come back for part two, which is 15 centimeters. All right, so we're back. I've reset everything. The only thing that's changed, and I'm gonna try to show you, I have moved the radiometer up one line. I know we're now sitting on the second line. We were on the line that's now underneath the radiometer. That's the only thing that has changed. So let's set our video back up. Again, we're ask, asking three questions. What was the beginning temperature before the lights turned on? Did the vein move and how did it move? And then what's the temperature after three minutes? So I'm going to start my phone recording right now and give you a couple of seconds to 
see what that temperature is. And I'm going to turn my lights on and then start my three minute timer at 15 centimeters away from the light source. So that's been three minutes. Let's look to see what our final temperature is. Our temperature after three minutes at 15 centimeters looks like it has gone up to about 81. Now that's not a huge difference, but we can still tell that our temperature has gone up from that starting point. Now, last one we're gonna do Go ahead and show you. It's going to be from 10 centimeters. And this time, I'm just going to give you all the data, and I want you to fill in that final chart. See you in just a second. All right, so this is the last trial. You can see we're on that last line. I have everything set up the exact same. Not too much more to say. Let's just go ahead and get started. So remember, our questions are, what is the beginning temperature? And you can see that right now. Um, what is the temperature after three minutes? And did the vein move? So, same thing. I'm going to start my lights. And I will see you in three minutes. So that's three minutes. Let's check our temperature. Keep your moving. Our temperature right now is sitting around 82, depending on the angle that you look at it. I'm thinking that's around 82. So I'm going to go to mark on my paper what my final temperature is. Now. Everything that you're going to see on your paper, you just need to fill in the correct way possible. I'm going to go ahead and show you right now that this is an excellent way to set up your graph. You don't have to do it exactly like me, but this could be something that shows you. So it's a little tip, if you watch the video, then you're going to graph your points and you're going to tell me as the distance increases, let's move all this out of the way so you can see. As our distance increases or moves away, what happens to our temperature? If you notice, the further away when we were sitting out here, our temperature didn't get as high. And then it says, the next question or part B is, as the distance decrease or we get closer, what happens to our temperature? Right. Those are your big, big, big questions that you need to answer with this. 
So again, remember with radiation, we have not had those lights touching that radiometer at all. We have not had those lights touching that thermometer at all. So radiation, again, is the thermal energy that's transferred from the light to the thermometer without touching it. It's radiating that heat. Think of these lights up here as the sun. All right, that's another little tip for you. So get that done, fill it in, and you guys have a great afternoon.